all right, a scriptural refutation of the false doctrine of Calvinism of the secret will of God. Because Calvinists have to have to make a distinction between the revealed will and the secret will. There's no scripture for this whatsoever. They have to do this because they can't explain the verses that clearly explicitly refute their determinism. Like Hosea 8.4, Isaiah 54 verse uh, 15, Isaiah 5 verses uh, 2 to 4, Zechariah 1.15, Galatians 5 verse uh, 6 to 8, Galatians 2 verse 17 to 18, James 1.15, Genesis 5 verse uh, 5 to 6, Jeremiah 19.5, Jeremiah 32.35, Jeremiah 7.31. I mean, on and on it goes. Uh, the Calvinist heresy of determinism is explicitly taught against. So, in order to explain away the scriptures that very clearly show sin is not the will of God, they have to say, well, there's his revealed will, and then there's his secret will. Plain and simple. And they'll say this is a biblically mandated distinction. It's actually the opposite. There is no scripture for a secret will of God. It's just this Gnostic heresy, this Gnostic undertone of Calvinism with a secret hidden knowledge. Uh, what does the scripture say on the matter? Is there a secret will of God? Isaiah 45, verse 19. I have not spoken in secret in a dark place of the earth. I said not unto the seed of Jacob, Seek ye, seek ye me in vain. I, the Lord, speak righteousness. I declare that things that are right. You know what that means? He doesn't declare sin. He doesn't declare, doesn't decree or, or cause sin. He doesn't speak in secret. I mean, this, I mean, I guess the prophet Isaiah was just a Pelagian by the standards of these Calvinists. Because anybody who rejects the heresy of Calvinism believes in the heresy of Pelagianism. It's a false dichotomy. Uh, more scriptures on the matter. Isaiah 48, verse 16. Come ye near unto me. Hear ye this. I have not spoken in secret from the beginning, from the time uh, that it was. There I, there, sorry, there, there am I. And now the Lord God and his spirit hath sent me. There is no secret thing. That's, there's no secret knowledge like the Calvinists, you know, pair it from the Gnostics. John 18, 20. Jesus answered him, I spake openly to the world. I ever taught in the synagogue and in the temple whither the Jews always resort. And in secret have I said everything that contradicts my revealed will. Oh, wait, no, it doesn't say that. In secret have I said nothing. Deuteronomy 30, verse 11 down to verse 14. For this commandment, which I command thee this day, it is not hidden from thee, neither is it far off. Uh, sorry, it is not in heaven that thou shouldest say, Who shall go up for us to heaven and bring it unto us, that we may hear it and do it? Neither is it beyond the sea that thou shouldest say, Who shall go over? Sorry, who shall go over the sea for us and bring it unto us, that we may hear it and do it? But the word is nigh unto thee in thy mouth and in thy heart, that thou mayest do it. See, the revealed will, so called, is the only will of God. You know, if there's a secret will that contradicts his revealed will, you can't trust anything the Bible says. It's a, it, it, I mean, everything contradicts. How do we even know that Jesus is the only way of salvation? Maybe the secret will is that everything is the way of salvation. Every religion is the way of salvation. You see the problems this whole thing creates. When you pray, thy will be done, whose will are you praying for? Is it, is it the secret will or the revealed will? You know, well, there's no point praying for the revealed will because you, they think you can't do that. You're totally unable. There's no point praying for the secret will because that's already predetermined. So it, it just renders prayer useless. Deuteronomy 29, verse 29. The secret things belong unto the Lord, our God, but those things which are revealed belong unto us and to our children forever, that we may do all the words of this law. Now, those say, we'll see the secret things of the Lord, and then they're distinct from the revealed things. Okay, but there's not some kind of secret will that is directly contrary to the revealed will. See, the Calvinists make it seem like there's some kind of secret will that is the exact opposite. This is not what this verse is saying right at all, you know? Because, again, it would make the entire Bible a lie. So, just these scriptures that very explicitly refute this false doctrine of the secret will of God, which is something the Calvinists have concocted to explain away the verses that refute their, their uh, theistic determinism, Gnostic heresy that it is. So, anyway, don't be deceived by Calvinism. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with all the brethren. Goodbye. Thank you.